I quite believe that if you understand whatever I teach, especially for the structures of using English, I believe you can translate English news. And at the same time, even not translation, spoken language also can be used effectively. And the second one that we have to learn is pronunciation. But don't expect the same pronunciation, but using English, English dictionary as a tool, as the assistant to help understanding the correct pronunciation. I don't mean that my pronunciation is the best because I came to learn English when I was old. <laughs> That's true. I came to learn English when I was so more than 25 years, maybe 22 or 23, maybe four or five years when I was an old student to learn English. But it doesn't matter when you're learning with what university to uh, to learn from and what teacher etc but English is uh, not not like mathematics not like physics not like other subjects that needs that require laboratory room that require some expert teachers to teach to train to observe but here English on other languages other languages usually skill I think using only skill I saw I met so many people from different uh, different countries from different countries African I have some friends as when I was a student in India the language English language when they spoke quite different totally different American uh, sorry friends from Philippines many many friends from India and Pakistan etc that area even my students also from Pakistan and for those their pronunciation are different from our pronunciation even from England from America themselves their pronunciation are not the same Mexican American African American and English from Wales from France from German Germany different countries pronunciation are different that's why the conclusion here is the aim or the purpose of language use is for communication that's why don't matter about what my pronunciation is but i use i believe colleague language that's why you understand it <laughs> okay welcome to my class uh, english class english structure for tackling standardized tests around the world without any exception three newspapers that i would like to invite all of you who are English learners learning English doesn't mean learning only language believe me that I would like to suggest you new the book that is really significant that are really the books that are really significant for us to I own and maybe if you have opportunity which way you are looking for which way you would like to be skilled on please number one is the intelligent investor written by Benjamin Graham the master and the teacher of <laughs> forget the name Warren Buffett one of the richest investors in the world the guru that the VI value investors around the world follow big one I, I don't know is complete yet not yet <laughs> Because it's too big and some in some interesting to me, but some not interesting for me. About investment, if you are interested in investing, that is the benefit of English that I would like to suggest you. I have to say this again and again, please don't be bored about what I am discussing with you, general topics, etc. The second one, I think this book is the best in investment. I believe this one you like it if you study investing one up on wall street by benjamin oh sorry not benjamin Graham, peter lynch best book every page worth reading i love this book and i keep in my make in my that i have to read it once at least a year this one huh? not not quite big completed long ago this one very nice also for investment second book if you are interested in relation life is nothing permanent if you said life belongs depends on changing life 
whatever you imagine according to your religion you believe and if you want to open your mind open your perspective and open to learn the new things what the buddha taught written by venerable rahura si rahula vopola from sri lanka i went there two times in my life maybe never again okay so this one is interesting about what the buddha taught some passage that i would like to extract from this one is among the fathers of religions the buddha if we are permitted to call him the father of the religion in the popular sense of the term was the only teacher who did not claim to be other than human being pure and simple i will write it here and you understand it very well later the fourth book that i would like to suggest you here one time is you can't find this book i believe because i found it when i was the first year MA, MA student at Mysore University, southern part of India, one of the best university, the longest university, Jawaharlal Nehru, the discovery of India. He has two books exactly the same size, more than uh, uh, 500 or 600 pages about historical study. Various books, if you are not interested in all of this, please pay attention to literature uh, literature the, these kinds of literature novel gulliver's travel in english so many because my major is in literature keep it here keep them here so that one of the best book that i have to show you over here before i teach you now now are everywhere is compulsory that you study you see it for sure one of the best book that i like reading guys to investing rich dad robert kiyosaki big one thick one more than 600 pages the four quadrant of earning the best rich dad poor dad also i'm a big fan of Robert Kiyosaki. If you understand, if you read, sorry, if you, you hear from me, uh, Mr. Robert Kiyosaki, I am the big fan. I bought more than 20 copies, 20 covers of your book. Come to the newspaper that I would like to show all of us, inspire all of us who are interested in learning English. As I said, learning English doesn't mean learning only the language, but behind that, we learn English because we want to earn, we want to gain knowledge. Knowledge brings happiness, success, whatever you, you mention it, prosperity, wisdom to us. That is knowledge behind the medium language. English is the medium language to be the bridge for us, to cross the tough current liver to the peaceful bank of maybe the island, other sides of the river. Uh, this one oh, this morning is really nice so the mo this morning is the uh, asanha pusha day in buddhist uh, right it's a buddhist right asanha pusha day the day that the buddha uh, preached the first sermon Tapavatanasu, and the first day that uh, the buddha dhamma and sangha occurs to the world happen in the world that's why the first newspaper is the bangkok post now is here whatever olympic game opening ceremony in tokyo the tokyo olympic game proper now see this one will declare passive voice later clear explain explanation in preposition number six illily up illily mean weak empty stadium illily look at ly here is adverb empty adjective and stadium is now whatever i said whatever i said the same as i teach you that is the structure of english that's why we have to learn you have to learn even it is easy but worth learning from the beginning of now now now, the beginning of now, let me pass it over here. Let me talk more about this one. Okay. So, when we use 
Number one, the first one is verb here. Open is adjective here. Declare open in six. Okay, empty on six once again. Friday that's all after six again, and we use now after before after. Defining is a noun using verb for as a noun. I will explain for sure. A year's pandemic delay. We have to translate delay first because delay in the position here is a noun. Pandemic I see is adjective, same as what I mentioned up here. I will explain adjective later, and uh, the 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 test will be provided for you with. Five explanation lingering lingering coronavirus threats threats is a noun and coronavirus also is a noun here now plus now up there in front is adjective which is opposite to the use of Thai language the new sentence begin here in the same sentence all of this here only one sentence because there is only one stop but inside the sentence here they are composing other minor sentences also inside you will understand and read clearly the newspaper from thai newspaper sorry the second one is the guardian from england the language is the same nothing different us china Beijing relations with etc etc uh, Barry 48 hours before, before plus now, arrival, as I said, arrive is verb, and if we put AL at the end of verb, verb will turn to now, that's all. In China, of plus now, most trust diplomat. Diplomat is now. Most trust is adjective, and this one is apostrophe S. That's all. I consider it number four as determiners. That's all. Same thing. Beginning the sentence again. Betting has announced after has have had plus verb three form number three or whatever you mention it. The name may be like participle form. I will discuss this later. The third newspaper I would like to introduce to you is up there the hindu indian newspaper newspaper of india so the language english language is the same the same structure that we said the u.s secretary of state and whatever whatever here is the past of the sentence ah uh, sorry the past of subject the real subject is secretary which is singular view plus simple form of verb race view race concern is a noun uh, row is number six human rights number one and then in number six again and indian right in the sentence like this according to u.s official very easy same language blank uh sorry blinken is expect passive voice to write verb to verb come together we use to in the between that is to infinity in new daily late on Etc. Will here also becomes the uh, verb of Mr. Blinken, same person, but two actions here. See, nothing different. So this type of this uh, today mo uh, this morning, let me explain. Continue my explanation from yesterday class. Let me say that what is now in brief. What is now in brief? now in brief but don't forget that we are over here right now the functions of of nouns and here is the endings of now some of the endings of nouns that we call suffix ending you have to remember and at the same time you have to remember the positions of now now as subjects of of verb Subject of verb, where is it? Subjects of verb, it will be over here. Number one. Okay? One here. This is subject of verb. Number two is object of verb. After verb. See? Let me delete some of uh, to make clear that uh, 
Number one here is a uh, subject of uh, there are two kinds of subject that I am going to explain over here. Two kinds of subjects. Uh, delete some. Delete some. Okay. Uh, from yesterday. Go on bit by bit. If you don't understand, please raise your hand and ask your friends beside. <laughs> now, let me see here. Teaching adult or maybe children from different country. I'm very proud, very happy to do that. Uh, if you understand what I teach, I will be happier. <laughs> now over here, uh, there are two kinds of now according to my teaching. Then exactly there are many kinds of now if we classify depends on what what types of definition we give to what but this is my uh, explanation will be in in very short uh, in short explanation. Number one is count table now. Let me tell you count table now here. Uh, number two is uncountable now. Then I uh, will lead it to uh, further explain about subject and verb like that. Number two is uncountable now. Uncountable now. Uncountable now. Where is? Hmm? Uh, uncountable now here. One minute. Ah, uncountable now. Change it a bit. Countable and uncountable now. Uncountable now. Two times, two kinds, two groups of now. Easy explanation here. Countable now and uncountable now. Countable now is now that can be count in a piece, each piece, like a can of Coke. Oh, sorry. Like a, a dictionary. A ring box etc all of these can be count even car house etc that is countable now so that's why counting means there are two types of counting countable now count now number one is singular number two is plural singular now and plural now easy way plural now Uncountable now is the now that cannot be count. What is it? Love cannot be count. Water cannot be count. Even money cannot be count if we don't mention the currency. Water, etc. Air, etc. But if rice, even rice and is uncountable now, are uncountable now. Why it is? Un why is it un uh, uncountable now? Because when we trade. When we trade, you imagine, I would like to trade Pepsi or Coca-Cola. I can't trade without putting in particular form of uh, box or etc. That, that is the way we do use like kilogram, box, uh, bottle, etc. Rice also you use bowl, you use uh, sack, etc. That, that, that is the point that, that Uncountable now refer to refer to whenever you want to trade. Sometimes we don't we don't trade at all, like air, etc. But uh, the form is untouchable, uncountable. Sorry, not untouchable. Untouchable is the is the book uh, used in India, uh, low cost as well. Right? It is quite sometimes unbelievable. People divide people by by birth. Casteism uh, is really a big problem to uh, Indian the country, the, uh, India, the greatest country. Singular, for example, <coughs> a short, okay? Assume that everybody who learned this subject with me understand those very well. For example, we have the word book. Yeah. More books, plural will be books. Yeah. Scientists, recently we learned about this one. Scientist, uh, scientist, or scientist. More scientists, many scientists, more than one is scientist. 
Asia scientists. Uh, other words, uh, watch, borrow from friends, <laughs> watches. You use here, watches. And even some, some words also, uh, the same form but functions can be function both uh, singular and plural, like man. Man is not man's, but man is men when it is used in plural form, in plural form. Let me show you a minute here, a little, a little about this one. Uh, for example, if you use a man, a man, watch, watch, this one is, uh, is not watch here uh, on our risk, but watch here means we look, they look, a man look, look, looks so watch here end with cs end with s ss ch sh s maybe x or z also put es here present simple tense i if i have opportunity i will explain clearly again about uh, this one normally in thai language i explain clearly but in english i don't know i never explain clearly about in english but i think those who come to study with me in difficult subject like this, understand the simple rule of uh, adding S, E, S at the end of two words. The first one is singular now, countable singular. Change countable singular now to plural now. And, it's, uh, and the second one is the put and on the verb scientist here. Scientist. One scientist, if we add S over here, from one scientist will become two scientists. Scientists watch. No SES of simple form of verb like this. This is a simple rule. I will come back if I don't make I don't I don't forget. <laughs> I will come back to this one when I explain about pleasant simple tense. Man, one man watches TV, watch TV, etc. And two men, two men, not Two men, no. Man becomes men here. Yeah? All of this. Two men watch. No S E S like this. Two men scientists. One scientist put E S. Same as this. That's why we say S E S can be added at the end of two words. Globe. The first one is now from singular now into plural now. The second one is at the end of simple form of verb, present simple tense, verb one, verb form one, verb form, verb form one. Uh, what do you say in, in, in your language? This one, verb one, simple form of verb. Okay. Man, men, woman, women. Uh, woman, women. We don't pronounce woman, women. Even child, children, children, mm -hmm. ox, oxen, etc. Oxen, mouse, mice, uh, bus, uh, food, feet, tooth, teeth, etc. Some change inside irregular form of now irregular form of now we have to understand this is the form of countable now countable now consists of two forms singular form and plural form what the functions of now same function the first function is subject subject can be both a man man is subject scientist is subject man watches es be careful that's why we have to learn Singular subject, simple form of verb, present simple tense, S, E, S at the end of verb, simple form. But if plural now, scientist, S at the end of scientist, verb, nothing to add, simple form, present simple tense. That's why we learn about the functions of now, as, as a subject. But at the end of, uh, uh, at, uh, what's that? 
object there is nothing the nothing difficult if it is a uh, object of verb for example if it is object of verb i saw a see young man nothing i met i read i see. i i read two interesting books interesting books nothing nothing we use s because two that's all that, that's all at the end of in the library maybe library two library or three library depends on you library well mm -hmm. library okay that's all this is uh, the functions of the position and function of now and classification of now also if we discuss about uncountable now, what is uncountable now? The now that we cannot count. We cannot count. One, two, three, four. Sometimes we can count, like money. The student always have problem. Why, Ajahn? I can count. The, the money, money you, you, my mother gave me in the morning before going to school. My mother gave me money and I, I count it 1,000 baht. <laughs> but if we ask people about how much money you have, we ask how much money you have. We don't say, we, we don't say how many monies you have. That that why the currency dollars, dollars, Singapore dollar, Malaysian dollar, uh, Malaysian, Malaysian ringgit, or Singapore dollar, Singapore. So I went there many times. Thai baht, small Thai baht in paper, but and uh, ten dollar Singaporean here. I have ten uh, one thousand. One thousand is this Laos give right, and and Laos also allow one maybe loud this is 10 10 key yes this one this is from malaysia drink it thai, thai baht also 10 baht before five dollars singapore so many singaporean and uh, laos and vietnam yuan you are in china right g2 <laughs> pending maybe uh this is i don't know is this in in chinese right? Yuan, Yuan maybe Chinese, eh? isn't it? That's why when we ask how much money you have, we say how much money. But if you ask particular currency, you ask in countable now forms, like how many dollars do you have, how many baht, but baht has no S at the end. How many baht do you have? That's why, different. And water also, we ask that how many baht, so I want two cups of coffee uh, but but maybe uh, the language that people normally use it two coffees is possible also reasonable and makes sense also depends on the language also change for uh, suiting people who use in daily life two cups of coffee really nice and two glasses of coffee from dr coffee excuse me Okay, uncountable now is a noun that cannot be counted when we trade. <laughs> this is my definition. Like air, nobody trade air. Who knows? COVID-19 hit tremendously. Air is important for trading. Big tank put inside. Air, oxygen. Who knows? If you, if you, I do not know what to say, that's why so intelligence and you can forecast in the future oxygen will be very important for human life you may have the oxygen farm and put oxygen into particular parcels and sell to people around the world who knows before that in my country also in my uh, village who knows that's why water is available every house you can ask for and some also put the jar in front of the house you can dig it up and drink wherever you go and people in the house also when they see you from different areas even you are strangers you are a stranger but they ask you have eaten yet have meal yet invite you to eat but now the social society change a lot nobody asks you they question in mind that uh, this one may be good or bad the world changed in one life, my life. Not yet die, but you see the I see the movement of this. The society changed. That's why we need, we require wisdom. 
learn exchange open mind but criticize in mind before acceptance anything accepting anything air money as i mentioned before water uh, this is a uh, simple words but information information very sorry for my marker it doesn't my pen not not uh, working properly here not working properly let me cut some uh, information we say luggage yeah, I show you later or oh, luggage baggage <laughs> other form of so this is the form of uh, this is uh, now classification and the function of now as I mentioned here also see this one we put now I mentioned here the first position that now must be added is number one here as subject the subject view related or concern to ob uh, to verb over here tense appearing here active and passive voice at the end here with number one also here the same now same from both countable and uncountable now this one is subject can be both this one is subject can be both countable and uncountable money is money is reserved in the bank money is necessary for life money is what is that evil money is evil please put them away and put to my bank account <laughs> last one also after preposition in on at for from etc etc with etc now also here we are not discussing adjective yet let me finish let me finish now first and then we will go to adjective after i finish all of this the test will provide will be provided for all of us to test you will see that how important the form of now is how important the position of now is <laughs>